About two months ago, his phone was ringing, and it was from an email address. And that's very weird. And it was a, a video chat call. So I answered it, and it was a woman. And she was looking at me with this shocked face, like, oh my god, like, is you? It's like she already knew like who I was. And I track his location and I'm able to see where he is. So I had her location. I knew who this woman was. So I went to her house and I knocked on her door. Oh. She didn't answer, but I went there. Your Honor, when this situation occurred, I was asleep. Imagine waking up and you got somebody with a ski mask on looking at you like they about to rob you. I'm serious, Your Honor. I was so scared of my wife this day. And I'm looking at her and she's basically telling me to wake up and tell her the same thing she's telling you today, that basically, who was this woman? And this is all off of someone calling my phone, like she just told you. And you talking about me doing a job by when we met, now you're doing it. You didn't tell me you showed up looking like a ninja. Thank you. Well, that's crazy. It's the woman that you called Becky earlier that we were talking about, so I was pissed. I was Oh, mad. you mean the same girl the from the four-week pregnant girl? The same girl from the past, and that's how I knew where she lived. That's how I was able to go over to her house. So, yes, I put my ski mask on, Ooh, and I had my weapon. The fact that you have weapon. a ski mask, where y'all live? You live in Georgia, y'all have... I got it for, went, during the pandemic, when it first It's started. not mine, I can tell you that, because I don't own one, y'all.